Okay, so I thought I'd do a quick review on the Samsung T5 one terabyte uh, SSD external hard drive, which I just bought. It is portable SSD. Uh, it's quite popular, the Samsung one. The reason I've got this is I'm getting woeful uh, throughput on my NAS, and uh, I've got my big aperture library on there still, and I just want to move it off there. I haven't got enough. It's like 60, 60 gigabytes, and I've got. I just don't want to put it into my. Uh, NVMe on my Mac Mini, so I thought I'd buy a reasonably fast uh, SSD external and put it on there. I know you can get like you know NVMe enclosures and put you know those in, but yeah, I just don't want to spend that sort of money. So this is a good compromise. So let's have a look how fast it is. Uh, before that, I'll just show you. Uh, so it comes in this box here. Yeah, it came in there. It's around just that size, and uh, it comes with two cables. We've got um, USB A to USB C, and also USB C to USB C, and around say they're about 50 centimeters long. Oh, really? There you go, about 50 centimeters long, which is which is long enough. So let's uh, plug it in. So I'm going to plug it straight into my Mac. I did some I did some speed tests, and I'll show you those speed tests in a minute. Uh, but we'll do a um, real life speed test right now. I'm going to plug it into USB-C. And I'll do uh, black magic speed test right now. Here we go. So we've got that. We'll select the select the drive. Target drive here. And Samsung T5. So this is straight into USB-C. Hit the start button. Now this is rated at, uh, they're saying you can get up to 540 megabytes per second transfer speed. So looking at it, we're getting uh, 470 and 511. Now I did, I did various other tests, so basically I tested it uh, first with the Samsung drive straight into the USB-C, uh, also did uh, with a uh, Samsung with the USB A to USB C ad adapter that I've got here. So you put a USB A in there and converts to USB C, and you put that in. I saw no difference in speed with that. Yeah. So going forward, because I was looking at, it, I was thinking, ah, oh, I'm I'm going to run out of USB C uh, ports if I go to a, go to new Mac Mini M1. And I was looking at this Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt hub from uh, OWC and it converts one USB-C into three and you also get a, a 10 gigabit per second USB-A as well as a bonus. So that's really handy because the Mac Mini only comes with five gigabits per second USB-A ports on there. So that's really handy. All right, let's see if we can get this preview window up. All right. So this one is, what are we looking at here? Samsung T5 USB-A cable in in the four port hub. So I was looking at um, if I run out of USB-C ports in the new Mac Mini, whether I can use it in the hub. And as you can see there, I'm getting 430 megabytes per second versus uh, what we've got 480, 480 write and about 530 uh, read speed. So you're not losing too much. Now what I really want to do is I want to get hold of that uh, USB uh, Thunderbolt hub, the four port hub, three port hub I mean, and uh, use the uh, 10 gigabits per second USB-C port and see if it makes a difference. Because I think it's pushing the limit of the of the five, five uh, gigabit per second USB-A ports that uh, the Mac Mini have got. So this four, four port USB hub that I've got from Realtek works quite well. And as you can see, the speed's not too bad there. And then I looked at, uh, so this was from the USB A. Oh, right, so, so it was, it was actually quicker. So this is this one here, 427 and a half and 431. That was uh, the USB A going directly into the five gigabits per second in the Mac Mini. In the back of the Mac Mini, I'm running an Intel Mac Mini. Uh, 32 gig gigabytes of RAM. Uh, I've also got just, I think it's 3.2 uh, gigahertz, six core, and uh, it's got a 512 uh, NV NVMe hard drive in there. 
so that was going there. Now this next one I've got is so there's a USB A cable of the USB A to USB C going directly into the USB C of the Mac Mini. So as you can see there, you're getting about 60 megabits per second more on the right and about 80 megabits per second more on the read. There's a decent compromise going using the uh, using the USB A for this because you're not really you know it's, it's sort of pushing the limits but it's, you know it's it's doable. And this was the original one. That was the that was the maximum I was getting 490 490 right and 527 read that's using a USB C cable going directly into the USB C of the Mac Mini. All right guys, so hope you enjoyed that one. Still got the speed test running in the background there. So you see there 512, 512 read and uh, 464. So what I peak at around 490 and 5, uh, 491 and 527. So you know it's, it's roughly probably probably just using a bit of uh, processor doing my OBS here, so it's uh, slowing it down a little bit. So there we go. So yeah, I, I totally recommend getting the uh, T5 Samsung. It's, they've been around for a while. I actually got this for a really good price. Uh, went through Office Works in Adelaide here, and um, they had it for 149. But I saw it online for 139, and just I just mentioned it to them. I said, "Yeah, oh, I can get it online for 139." But I thought, you know, I'll, I'll get it local. And they said, "Oh, we can price match." So I actually got it for 139, minus the 5% off for the price match guarantee because they give you 5% off and it's almost like you know thanks for helping us do our job because they're meant to sort of be looking for, for the lowest prices they can sell it for so I got it for $132.05 Australian so that's pretty good so I'll say that's probably less than $100 US alright guys so I hope you like that one uh, it's quite mesmerizing looking at the black <laughs> black magic disc speed test isn't it so I might do some more real world tests and compare it uh, in real world situations uh, using it in Final Cut Pro and so forth. But for now, I'm pretty happy with that speed. Uh, what I might do, we'll stop this, I'll show you how slow my, my NAS is. I'm going to select the target. I actually set up a nice SCSI target on my NAS because I was of the impression that iSCSI is meant to be fast. It's meant to be the fastest way to uh, transfer on, on your NAS, but as you can see here, we'll start it up. 32 megabytes per second <laughs> write speed. There we go. Ah, oh, slow as a dog, isn't it? There we go. And oh, oh, geez, 12, 12 megabytes per second read. That, that's crazy slow. So yeah, so while I was reading, you know, this was where I had my aperture library and uh, it was just too slow, it kept on crashing as well, my aperture, so I'm going to give that a go, see if using the uh, T5, whether using that will help with my aperture problems as well, because uh, I think there was, one was the speed and also the permissions, we were having permission issues with the aperture, I, I just could not get it running, and I don't, I don't really want to go to iPhoto yet, because uh, Aperture's got the Lupe that I use all the time. When you scrub through your photos, you've got the Lupe, and uh, you can zoom in and see which ones are sharp and pick them out of the bunch, which uh, iPhotos doesn't have. And it's just for that little reason that I want to keep Aperture running for now. But um, I might be able to, now I've got one terabyte of pretty fast storage, I might actually put the Aperture library and create another, create an iPhoto uh, bundle as well, library and put it on this and we'll see how we go see if they run well and I'll do another video on it okay guys so don't forget to subscribe and uh, share and like and I'll see you next time cheers